good morning in this session uh, we'll discuss about divergence test and p series now divergence test theorem divergence test if limit k tending to infinity uk is not equal to 0 then the series summation uk is divergent that means the nth term of the series is not tending to 0 then the series is divergent summation un n is equal to 1 to infinity so if limit n tending to infinity un is not equal to 0 that means the nth term of the series is not tending to 0 then the series is series is diverges so this is diverges test now let look at one example so if uh, another conversely if if limit k tending to infinity uk is equal to 0 if it's equal to 0 then the series may converge or may diverge so it can it can converge or it can diverge also limit k tending to infinity uk equal to 0 then the series summation uk may either converge or diverge so divergence test means it is only to test whether uh, the series is divergent or not if the limit uk is not equal to zero then the series is divergent that is the only uh, decision that we can make using divergence test now one example the series k by k plus one series k by k plus one which is equal to summation k is equal to 1 to infinity k is equal to 1 to infinity so series 1 by 2 plus 2 by 3 plus 3 by 4 plus etc so limit k tending to infinity un un is equal to nth term of the series which is equal to k by k plus 1 which is equal to limit k tending to infinity k divided by take k as a common factor k into 1 plus 1 by k k k get cancelled which is equal to limit k tending to infinity 1 by 1 plus 1 by k so as k tending to infinity 1 by k can tending to 0 so the limit is equal to 1 not equal to 0 which implies the series is divergent series summation k by k plus 1 is diverges k equal to 1 to infinity now another test or convergence test for p series Converges test for P series. Now a P series is a is an infinite series of the form infinite series of the form summation k equal to 1 to infinity 1 by k raised to p 1 by k raised to p 1 plus 1 by 2 raised to p 1 by 3 raised to p etc 1 by k raised to p etc p is greater than 0. So these a series is called p series uh, it can also be uh, is also called hyper harmonic series hyper harmonic series so this series p series or hyper harmonic series example uh, for p is equal to 1 it's a harmonic series we'll call it as harmonic series which is equal to 1 by k series 1 by k equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus etc and 1 by k square series 1 by k square uh, equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus etc here p is equal to 2 and for p is equal to 1 by 2 
the series is summation 1 by root k which is equal to 1 plus 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 3 plus etc now the theorem for convergence of p series convergence of a p series a p series summation 1 by k raised to p which is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 raised to p plus 1 by 3 raised to p plus etc 1 by k raised to p p is greater than 0 is convergent if p is greater than 1 that means the series summation series summation series summation 1 by k raised to p is convergent convergent if p is greater than 1 divergent if p is less than or equal to 1 uh, 0 less than p less than 0 less than p less than 1 0 less than less than or equal to 1. P should be always greater than 0 for a P series. Now, uh, identity P and uh, identify P. So, first question, first example. Identify P and determine whether the following series convergent or divergent. So, first one, 1 plus 1 by third root of 2 plus 1 by third root of 3 plus etc. So the above series can be written as summation 1 by third root of k, which is equal to summation k equal to 1 to infinity 1 by k raised to 1 by 3 is a p series with p is equal to 1 by 3. p is equal to 1 by 3, which is less than 1. So the series is divergent. This series is divergent since p is equal to 1 by 3 which is less than or equal to 1. So, so these are some ex examples 1 by 3 raised to k 1 by k raised to 3 this series this series is convergent since p is equal to 3 P is equal to 3 which is greater than 1 series is convergent here p is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 which is less than 1 series is divergent here p is equal to 1 p is equal to 1 so this is 1 by k it's a harmonic harmonic series summation 1 by k harmonic series which is divergent harmonic series is divergent then a summation k raised to minus 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 that is 1 by k raised to 2 by 3 k raised to 2 by 3 p is equal to 2 by 3 2 by 3 is less than 1 which implies that the series is divergent then k by minus 4 by 3 that is 1 by k raised to 4 by 3 4 by 3 is greater than 1 implies that the series is convergent 1 by k raised to 1 by 4 P is equal to 1 by 4, series is divergent since P is less than 1. Similarly, uh, summation 1 by third root of k raised to 5, series is convergent since 1 by k raised to 5 by 3, 5 by 3 is greater than 1, series is convergent. Summation 1 by k raised to pi, pi is greater than 1, series is convergent. Then 3 by 5 summation k is equal to 1 to infinity 3 by 5 into 1 by k. So let take 3 by 5 as a common. So the series which is equal to 3 by 5 into summation 1 by k. So the series 1 by k is, is a harmonic series which is divergent. So 3 by 5 into series 1 by k is again is always divergent.